I've got all of my pieces laid out here to make our box. And as you can see, it's got the flap over here and then in here is where you're gonna put your little alcohol and then it's a nice folded up box all the way around. So I've got everything cut out. Um, this is the front flap, which is this piece here. And I went ahead and added uh, a little cutout piece on there. And then right here is the score line. And um, this one here is the covering panel that'll go over this piece here. These are your side panels for the top and bottom to just make everything seamless. This is your back cover. Um, you've got the tiny small boxes, so there's two. Uh, actually, this is the insert that'll go on the inside there. And then these two, I cut them out in white because you're not gonna see them. We've got the covering panels to cover them. And this will make the box that sits on the top and the bottom. And then these two are the side boxes here, and you'll see those. So that's why I went ahead and um, made them out of green. So we'll go ahead and get started by assembling our boxes. So you've got the cut, um, the, the score lines all around, and then you've got your extra kind of end caps. And we're just gonna start by folding on all of those score lines. And these are just going to make long, skinny, rectangular boxes. All right, and this one's your little flap. You've got your one rectangle uh, little end cap is attached, and it's got a couple of really small tabs on the edges. And just fold all of those down. And then we can go ahead, uh, this is the same as that. We're gonna go ahead and just fold all of these little score lines as well. Okay, so this is our first one. So you've got this piece here. This is the short tab that is um, your tab. So what I'm gonna do is put some glue on here and then we're just gonna go ahead and get it secured under this corner here. I don't need a lot of glue. That's why I'm using my little precision tip bottle, um, but it does not squeeze out as much as I would like it to. And maybe that's because I don't have a lot of glue in here, but, so this takes a minute to just kind of get enough little glue dots around here, I'm trying to do it fast enough so that my glue doesn't dry. All right, that looks pretty good. Now what I can do is because it's all gonna be a square, I can actually go ahead and just kind of lay this down and fold kind of on the center and fold this whole piece in half and that should just lay perfectly flat. And that'll be nice and even on that edge and I'm just gonna burnish that down really well. Okay, and then I'm gonna go ahead and fold it the opposite direction. This is also gonna help really reinforce those fold lines. And then there is my box. Next thing I'm gonna do is go ahead and um, I can see I've got some little spots here that still need a little bit more glue. The nice part about this precision tip is I can really tuck that in there and get some more glue. And then I'm just gonna, again, just lay that nice and flat. Press that down really well. Give that glue some time to dry. Okay, that looks better. All right, now what I can do is go ahead and I've got all my little flaps here. I'm gonna put some glue. I'm just gonna go ahead and put glue on all of these flaps. got glue on all of those sides and then what I'm going to do those flaps you just want to be kind of pushed in on the inside and I'm just going to try to squeeze those sides in 
and then fold that top in. And that should be pretty flush there. And now what I can do, I'm gonna stand it up. Um, if you have like a long, I might have to grab a long ruler to kind of stick in there to get down on the sides. Let me just. So while this is standing up, I've got my little ruler here and I can just kind of press those sides in on those sides really well. And uh, just trying to make sure that that's nice and closed. You can also get these pressed in really well and that should just be flush right at the top. You can kind of just squeeze along the edges here to get that really nice and secure. And that looks really good. Again, I'm just gonna try to press those down. Okay, that looks good. And then we're gonna go ahead and do the same thing with our other piece. But now we have four sides. So I'm only gonna do one side at a time for this one. I've just got one little flap here and then I'm just gonna pick a side and I'm gonna um, attach that right here on this edge. And I'm just gonna try to get that nice and flush on that score line. And really just give that glue some time to set. All right, now I've got that and it's gonna close up really nice. I'm gonna go ahead and do my edges. I'm just gonna put some glue down the sides. And uh, I'm just gonna do the sides and then I'll leave, I'll leave this for last. You could do this same technique for the one that's attached as well. It's just kinda however is gonna be easier for you. I just wanna show you some different techniques. So I'm just gonna tuck in those side flaps. I've got the front flap hanging out on the outside and then I'm just gonna squeeze those edges. Leaving this outside flap there is also giving me a chance to make sure my edges are nice and flush without letting this kind of fall inside the box. All right, that looks good. I'm gonna go ahead and put some glue on this last edge. All right, and then I'm just gonna fold this little tab in and just sneak it in there and fold that down nice and flush. And then I'm just using kind of firm, uh, some gentle pressure on the edges, but uh, you know, just trying to not let anything collapse in your hand, but firm enough to just kind of hold it there in place. All right, that looks good. So now this is one side done. And then we're gonna go ahead and do the same thing with the other piece. So, okay, so we've got our two long side boxes. And then we've got these two pieces here, which are gonna make our short boxes that'll go top and bottom. It's gonna be the same process. We're gonna fold on all of the score lines. Um, you'll just see that this one has the uh, kind of end caps already attached, and it's a little bit of a different shape, but the process for putting on the glue and how to build it out is gonna be the same. I'm just folding on all these tabs. So I am doing this box as a uh, Christmas themed, but I've left it plain so that you can decorate it for whatever occasion you need. So this one's gonna be a little bit different. I've got one more flap here. I'm gonna put some glue on this tab.
And then we're gonna go ahead and fold this up and then we can fold this flat. It's just a little bit of a different shape because now your end caps are what's really gonna make more of that box shape. And we can fold it this direction, fold that down nicely. And uh, so now you've got your same thing here. We're gonna fold up these ends. So again, I'm just gonna put the glue on the sides. So I think this card would be good, obviously, you know, as a Christmas gift. Um, I think it would be fun too, as like a birthday card, uh, you know, kind of any, any reason to celebrate, um, you know, this is the perfect card you can do. Um, like I did on my, on this one, I made a little cutout for the front. Um, you could certainly do that front card flap as a print and cut. So that way you can kind of do whatever design you want on there. And there's not really room, kind of depending on how you wanted to do this, you could write your message here on the inside flap of this card, or you could do it on the back if you wanted. So there's some different options for getting a little sentiment or you know writing a little message on there. All right, those sides are really good on there. I'm gonna put this front piece on. These ones I think are a little easier to put together because you can really get your hand in there um, because they're so small. Just tucking in those corners. See how I'm just kind of uh, stretching out that box a little bit, the shape, to really tuck that front flap in. But then once you get it tucked in, you just tuck that really well. Make sure your corners are nice and square. And then you're just gonna hold it till it's flush. Sometimes you have to really pinch these corners well to make sure that they're nice, uh, you know, they're a good 90 degree on those corners. All right, we're gonna do the same thing with this side. So I'm just gonna start by putting glue on the edges. We'll slide those in, front flap sticks out. And then I'm just gonna squeeze the sides there. And you just have to take your time, make sure that glue dries before you move on. You want these to be nice and crisp. All right, we'll put the glue on this front one. And then I'm just gonna tuck that in. All right, so there's our small cube, and then I'm gonna do the same thing with this piece. All right, we've got all of our boxes done. The next thing we're gonna do is grab our kind of front cover. This is the part that goes here. And we're gonna go ahead and flip it over. And then we're gonna grab our front, which is this flap here. We're gonna fold this down on our score line. And we are gonna attach this flap to the back side of our insert. So that way you won't see the back flap. So we're gonna go ahead and put some glue 
on the inside part of this score line. And then what I'm gonna do, I'm just gonna take this piece and I'm just gonna slide it in there nice and flush into that fold. I'm gonna fold this over. And then I'm just gonna stand them up and make sure they're nice and flush on the table. My um, front piece here is a little warped. I use some spray glue to spray this on and um, Brie Glue and I are still not very good together, so I've uh, warped my paper a little bit. So I'm just gonna fold this down on the score, on that score line and burnish that on there really well. All right, that looks good. So now this is the back side. What we're gonna do here is we're gonna go ahead and attach these and these are gonna go all the way around so they should be flush on the sides, flush on the top and bottom. And then these little pieces are gonna fit on the inside. So again, we've got our front of our card. We've got the score line of that on the back side of kind of our front panel here. And that is how that's gonna work. I did not get that in there very straight. All right, so now you just wanna look at um, these long panels. I like to pick a side that looks pretty flush, that doesn't have any um, tape marks or anything, and that's gonna be my outside edge because this is the part you're gonna see. So I'm gonna go ahead and put glue, and I can just really put glue kinda of down on here. It's gonna go all the way across and all the way down. This entire piece is gonna get covered. And you just wanna be a little bit generous with your glue. You wanna make sure these stick on there nice all the way to the corners. All right, and then again, this is my um, nice, I wanna find my best side here. I think I like that one. And then I'm gonna go ahead and just lay that down. I'm gonna line up my bottom corner and then I'm gonna line up my side. And then you're just kind of checking everything should be nice and flush. The other way you can do it is kind of just pick it up, slide that up and over. And then you just want to press that down, give it enough time to really stick. Okay, so here uh, I just want to show you, um, when I folded this over, this, I think because this is warped, it didn't get all the way into the score line and I goofed it up. So now I know that like all of my measurements are going to be slightly off because this edge should really be nice and flush with the edge of your box here. And mine is now a little bit off, um, but that's okay. It'll still gonna work just fine, but just know you really wanna try to get those edges really nice and flush everywhere. So I'm gonna go ahead and put my uh, next piece on here. And this one here, we're gonna glue, put glue to glue it to the side, and then we're gonna also glue it down. So I'm just gonna put some glue this one doesn't matter so much um, if you have a nice side because we've got covering panels for the bottom and the top. So I'm just gonna put glue on the one side and then on what's gonna be the bottom.
All right, so I'm gonna take this one, I'm gonna make it nice and straight on the bottom of my cover, and then I'm gonna go straight across and in, press into that, um, my green box, and then pressing it down, and it should be nice and flush. If I pick this up, it's nice and flush with that, um, with my covering panel here. Again, I want to give that glue some time to set so that everything stays nice in place. All right, I think I like that. That looks pretty good. Oop. Those two aren't really gluing together very well. And then we're gonna do the same thing up top here. So again, we'll glue on the side and then on the bottom. It's a fine balance between enough glue and too much glue. So I'm gonna just continue to hold that. I'm gonna make this one nice and flush. Push that into the side there and then just making sure I'm flush on the bottom here and then on the top. looks great. Um, there will be a cover that goes over this back piece to make so that you don't see all these different color boxes. And um, but you just want to make sure that they're on there really nicely and uh, get your edges nice and flush. So that way when you put that piece on there, it's all still going to look nice and flat. And then again, I'm just making sure that that red piece, it's right up on the edge there. And it is and this one doesn't want to stick. I'm just gonna try to get some more glue in here. And re-stick that one together. And I'm just trying to kind of push on the edges to really push those pieces together. All right, and then we're gonna go ahead and put this last one on the side here. So we're just gonna put glue on the bottom. What I'm gonna do is put glue on the sides of these so that way I know exactly where the glue needs to go. So now we'll stick it to that next one. So that'll stick there and then I can go ahead and just put glue on one side. Again, I'm making sure that the side sticking out looks really nice. I like to pick a side that doesn't glue together. I like to pick that doesn't have the glue tab so it looks really nice put together. Okay, so this is gonna glue down this way and I'm just gonna press onto these boxes. I'm gonna make sure the tops are nice and flush and my um, front covering panel should be nice and flush on there as well. I'm 
I'm just trying to use some firm pressure. We can go ahead and once you got that, you can kind of lay it down. Using some more firm pressure, I'm kind of trying to squeeze these kind of into the insides here. Just really squeeze these together. All right, and looks like I need some more glue on here. This first green box is not staying on there. So I'm just gonna kind of lift this up a little bit, try to get some more glue right here in this corner to really get it stuck down. In the end, if you need to find a little scrap piece of paper, you can put some glue on there and then just kind of shove it in there where it needs glue. So that's always an option too, but I'm just gonna try to hold this together a little bit longer, see if I can get that to really stick down. And it looks like my entire little box here came apart from all that pressing. So I'm just gonna add some more glue to the kind of inside here. to really let this glue in right along this edge. Then I can send my flaps back down. Get that all squared away in there. Looks like what happened is this back piece didn't quite fold all the way in there go. All right, so this is what we've got so far. Um, there's nothing in the back. We've got this front here and that looks pretty good. So now, whoop, still not stuck on there. Uh, it seems today my glue is taking a lot longer to dry than normal. So I'm just going to hold that together a little bit longer. So I'm just kind of squeezing side to side and then pushing down with some downward pressure to really try to square all of these edges up and then to get that pressure on there to really hold them into place. All right, that seems better. Okay, we're gonna flip this all the way over and I'm gonna go ahead and put on my back piece and this is just gonna clean up the back. So I'm just gonna go ahead and put some glue on here you do have to be careful with the liquid glue using too much. You can warp it. So you want to, um, you know, try to use just the right amount. Um, but also I think liquid glue is going to be your best bet. Um, I don't think tape run is really going to hold this on quite as strong. And then I'm just gonna put a couple dots kind of right on this inner edge to make sure everything lines up really nicely and smooth. All right, so now with this piece, I'm just gonna try to lay it on there and I'm gonna try to get my bottom edges. So I'm just gonna start in this corner, get those bottom edges nice and flush. and then just kind of try to move around and get all of those edges nice and flush on there. And then I can go ahead and just lay that flat and then just try to give it some pressure here. So I put my glue on the back of the boxes so this inside here did not get any glue on there. So that's good.
Okay, I think that looks good. It looks pretty flush. Um, you know, it's not completely perfect, but that's paper crafting, right? Okay, so now for the inside, you've got this piece here. So we're gonna fold on all of our score lines. This is just gonna make the inside, the little insert here, it's gonna look a lot neater. Um, this is a very tight fit, and especially, um, you know, if everything's not laid in there perfect like mine, uh, you know, it may be a little bit difficult to get them in there. Um, but, you know, you just have to try your best and get it fit in there. And honestly, this piece, the way it fits, I like to just kind of push it in there and really get this in here first, and then I can just glue the sides if I need to. But it fits so snugly down in here, you may not really have to glue a lot of the sides. So I've just kind of shoved that down in. You can pull these sides up. And now that looks nice that's gonna look really nice in there. So now what I can do is I can fold these flaps down and then I can just go ahead and put some glue on these flaps. And then I can just fold up that flap and it should, I'm going to try to pull that forward a little bit to really cover up all of that white and get that nice and flush in there. Um, obviously if you did, you know, these panels all the same color, you wouldn't have quite so much problems with you know your edges not being perfectly colored and then i'm going to do the same thing on the opposite side i'm going to go ahead and put my glue on here and then i can just fold that up and then I'm just gonna make sure that those edges are nice and flush. Press that nicely. And then I'm gonna fold down this side and I'm just gonna do the same thing and I'm just gonna go around and put some glue all the way around the edge here. Trying to get right up to the edge. Okay, and then I'll just fold that up. And that looks good. Well, and we'll do that same thing with this last piece here. Go ahead and put glue all over this. Nice, uh, trying to get it all the way up into the corners to get this a very nice sealed in look. Okay, I'll we'll fold that up. If these corners get tight, you may need to use like a straight edge or your weeding tool to really get that corners folded in there nicely. All right, so the inside piece is done. And then you've got these two pieces that are left. One goes on the bottom and one goes on the top to just really seal these up to try to make them look nice as well. So I'm just gonna go ahead and put glue on here. And I'm gonna try to get lots of glue kind of right on the edges. And then kind of right across where any of the seams are gonna be is where I'm really gonna try to focus to have more glue to really hold those spots together. So I might actually just come here and put some glue right around these seams just to make sure I've got them good and covered. 
And then we'll lay this on here. Again, trying to be nice and flat. Also, you know, if all of your pieces are the same color, it's not gonna matter quite so much um, if these fit perfectly or not. And because that score line was in the wrong place a bit, um, it does affect the rest of my card. So I've got a little, um, you know, this piece is a little too wide now. So, you know, I've, it's not quite perfect. So again, if you wanted to do it all in one color, it would be, a, a, it would, you know, not show these imperfections so much. And then I'm gonna do the same on this top one. You can see this white piece kind of sticks up a little bit more than the rest. So it's not gonna be totally perfect. But that is just my user error from assembling. All right, and I've got my last little covering panel here. And again, it's not perfectly flat because I, you know, I've kind of goofed on some of my measurements a little bit there. But there is your completed box.